phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are tiny plants found in oceans and all over the world. I can't see any phytoplankton. That's because they are very, very tiny. You can see phytoplankton if you look at them under a microscope. Whoa, amazing. So many different shapes. Like plants on land, phytoplankton needs sunlight to make food. That's called photosynthesis, isn't it? That's right, Chester. The phytoplankton gets eaten by fish in the sea. How are they a good meal for fish? Because fish eat a lot of phytoplankton at one time. Small fish eat the phytoplankton. Big fish eat the small fish, which are eaten by very big fish. They're all part of the sea's food chain. Hurry, little fish, swim faster! Sand tiger shark. The sand tiger shark, also known as the sand shark, can be found in many warm non pacific world. This is the sand shark. Why is it called a sand shark? It's called a sand shark, Chester, because it spends a lot of time near the shore, close to the sand. Ah. While the sand shark uses its gills to breathe underwater, it also does something that no other fish does. Why is its mouth moving up and down? Because it's gulping air. And it's gulping air for a very good reason. With its belly full of air, the shark can float very still at the surface. So their prey, like eel and crabs, don't notice them there. That's a clever way to catch food. Okay, let me see if I can float. <gasps> I think I'll leave the air gulping to the sand shark. Now let's tell. Hammerhead shark. The hammerhead shark lives in warm waters all over the world. Look, Marco, there's a hammerhead shark. A hammerhead shark? Well, it doesn't have a real hammer for a head, but it does get its name because of the shape. <laughs> it looks all squished, like an elephant sat on it. A flat head is actually really useful. The shark can use it to pin down prey and stop it escaping. And having eyes on the ends of its head helps the shark see in every direction, even behind. Wow, I'm gonna try and see right behind me too. <laughs> Whoa, or I'm just gonna get really dizzy instead. <laughs> now let's test your memory. Rays are mostly found in warm waters. <gasps> that animal is flying out of the water. Orby, a type of fish. Whoa. It looks like a flat shark. Like sharks, rays have skeletons made of cartilage instead of bones. And cartilage is flexible. Your nose and ears have cartilage, too. Can you feel how bendy they are? Imagine having ears that bend like ray. This is a giant oceanic manta ray, the largest type of ray. Do you know what this ray is, Gorby? Ooh, is that a stingray? It is. That tail has a spine at the end of it. If the stingray thinks it's being attacked... It whips its tail round and stings. 
Because of their cartilage, those rays are really flexible fish. <laughs> Find the matching Ocean Sunfish. Ocean Sunfish can be spotted swimming close to the surface of warm ocean waters. What kind of fish is that? It's huge! That's an ocean sunfish, Willow. They're the heaviest, bony fish on the planet mm -hmm. and can weigh as much as a rhino. I'd never have thought a fish that heavy could be so flat. Why do they swim on the surface? Some scientists think it's so birds can eat the parasites on their bodies or to help them sunbathe on the surface of the water so they can stay warm. A fish sunbathing? That must be why they're called ocean sunfish! Bobbing about like an ocean sunfish sure looks fun! I'll just grab my sunscreen! Now let's test your memory! Seahorse. Seahorses are found in shallow tropical waters across the globe. Horses can swim underwater? Seahorses can, Gorby. They are actually fish. Look! Ah! Wow! Their heads look like a horse's head. They're amazing creatures. For example, the mother seahorse lays her eggs in the father seahorse's tummy pouch. Why does she do that? So dad can keep them safe till they're born. Seahorse males are the only animals on the planet who do this. Then, when they're ready, out the baby seahorses pop. There are so many of them! Some seahorses can give birth to more than a thousand babies. Seahorses are amazing underwater creatures. <laughs>